agglutination is the reaction between antigens and antibodies which are formed inside the body which result in clumping and if RBCs are also involved then the agglutination is also called hemagglutination. Now what is Coombs test? The basis of performing Coombs test is to identify or determine such antibodies inside the body of an individual which are non-agglutinable or which do not agglutinate the antigens. Such antibodies are also called incomplete antibodies or non-agglutinable antibodies. Coombs test is performed by two ways. One is direct method and other is indirect method. Let us understand the direct method of Coombs test by a simple example. Consider a woman with RH negative blood group RH negative blood group and she is pregnant with a fetus who is RH positive. So I would recommend you to watch the basis of concept of blood grouping my previous video for better understanding of RH antigens. Now a woman with RH negative blood group is pregnant with a fetus of RH positive blood group. Obviously the fetus body contains RH positive antigen over the surface of RBC whereas mother lacks the RH antigen. During parturition or during delivery of the baby of this fetus, some amount of fetal blood comes in contact with the maternal blood or mother's blood. So there is some passage of these RH antigens from fetus to the maternal blood. Now as these RH antigens are foreign to the maternal blood when infused inside the or when, when come in contact with the maternal blood, maternal blood or the immune system of the mother forms anti-RH antibodies. These anti-RH antibodies are formed against these RH antigen. And obviously these anti-RH antibodies then therefore remain inside the maternal body or maternal circulation forever. Now again if this woman is pregnant she is RH negative and now she also possesses inside her body these anti-RH antibodies. She is again pregnant with a fetus who is RH positive. Now what will happen that why a placenta from the mother via placenta these antibodies anti RH antibodies anti RH antibodies would infuse inside the fetal circulation and this leads to the hemolytic disease of the newborn obviously due to RH incompatibility. Now this hemolytic disease of newborn occurs because these anti-RH antibodies attack the RH antigen which is present over the red blood cell This is the RH antigen present over the red blood cell of the fetus and these anti-RH antibodies attack these RH antigen and leads to the hemolytic disease of newborn. In some cases of hemolytic disease of newborn what happens inside the fetal blood is consider this a test tube and these are the RBCs of the fetus or infant with hemolytic disease of newborn. There are these 
anti-RH antibodies present over the surface of RBC attached to the RH antigen but what happens is these anti-RH antibodies are incomplete or weak so they do not cause they do not cause agglutination so there arise a problem in identification of such cases where these antibodies are weakened or non-agglutinable there comes an action the Coombs test Coombs test is very simple addition of Coombs reagent causes agglutination of these RBCs now what is Coombs reagent or how to prepare Coombs reagent is also very simple we need to infuse these anti-RH antibodies these anti-RH antibodies are infused inside the body of a rabbit now what happens is these foreign anti-RH antibodies when infused the immune system of the rabbit forms antibodies against these anti-RH antigens which are foreign to the body of the rabbit now these antibodies are extracted and this is our Coombs reagent so Coombs reagent is basically nothing it is actually a solution which possesses antibodies against these anti-RH antigen Coombs reagent These antibodies are also known as anti-globulins. So we have prepared our Coombs reagent which possesses antibodies against these anti-RH antibodies. Now we have to add in a test tube first the fetal blood this fetal blood which possesses anti-RH or rather incomplete anti-RH antibodies over its surface which do not cause agglutination and when Coombs reagent is added these an antibodies or anti-globulins against these anti-RH antibodies attach to them and cause agglutination and as a result clumping of the RBCs is seen in the test tube or beaker this is a positive test which depicts that the fetal blood possesses anti-RH antibodies over the surface of RBCs which are incomplete and therefore normal agglutination does not take place and which is confirmed by the Coombs reagent. So this was direct Coombs test. On the other hand, the indirect Coombs test is actually a prenatal test which is performed on the maternal blood to identify whether the maternal blood contains anti-RH antibodies or not. Reconsider the case of that mother which was RH negative and pregnant second time with the fetus with RH positive blood. So this individual or this woman will contain anti-RH antibodies in a circulation we need to extract the blood this blood is collected which contains anti-RH antibodies in the serum and the purpose of indirect Coombs test is to identify whether the serum contains this incomplete anti-RH antibodies or not so 
what is the difference from the Coombs test is that these anti-RH antibodies are not attached to the surface of the RBC as the surface of the RBC of the mother's blood obviously does not contain RH antigen. So these antibodies would obviously be not non-reactive. Non Therefore, we need to add the blood of an individual who is RH positive or RBCs which contain or which possess antigen RH over their surface. So the next step in performing the indirect Coombs test is the addition of such RBCs which possesses RH antigen over their surface. So what will happen is these anti-RH antibodies will attach to the surface of the RBCs but still these are not agglutinated because these antibodies were rather incomplete or non-agglutinable. The rest step is same, we need to add again the Coombs reagent. Here are the RBCs present which contain or which possess over their surface the incomplete anti-RH antibodies which are non-agglutinable but on addition of the Coombs reagent Coombs reagent were the antibodies against these anti-RH antibodies so the Coombs reagent is added which causes clumping or agglutination of these RBCs which is visible in the test tube or the collection beaker. So this was indirect Coombs test which is performed in the prenatal condition. And direct Coombs test in, is performed in order to identify individuals of fetus or infants with hemolytic disease of newborn um, due to RH incompatibility or autoimmune hemolytic anemia in which the autoantibodies are formed against the RBCs. That's it for Coombs test. Thanks for watching. For making this video and also for the learning purpose, I referred to two textbooks. First, the textbook of microbiology by Anand Narayan and Panikar, and second, the textbook of microbiology by Dr. C. P. Baveja. These are a must have for a medical student. You can buy these textbooks online at Amazon and Flipkart by clicking the links given below in the description. And in case you don't like them, you can always return them. Happy learning!